G'day, it's Heath here from PickingLessons.com. The Temperance Reel, isn't this a fantastic tune? Two parts in the key of G. In a moment, we're gonna take a look at part A of this arrangement here in this video, but if you head to PickingLessons.com, you'll be able to grab yourself a copy of the tablature. Uh, in the member section there, we'll break down part B of the tune in a lesson, and you'll have a backing and play along track there as well. Let's start out here though with part A. We're gonna break it down slowly to begin with, then we'll have a look at some of the techniques and just make sure we're on the right path to learn this tune. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so there's part A broken down nice and slow. We are in the key of G. It's a pretty straightforward fiddle tune, but we just wanna make sure of a few things that you're working on to make sure you can play this tune efficiently and effectively. So firstly, this triplet pickup that we have, we have this hammer on that we're playing there on the fourth beat of our count in. If we're counting in four, one, two, three, four. Uh, we can feel this in cut time as we increase the tempo, but let's count it in four for now. So that would be the fourth beat. One, two, three, four, and the one. So those three notes, hammering on, picking the open string. Hammering down that first finger, that third finger. So just a downstroke, then two hammer-ons. Downstroke to the open G in the first measure, first beat. One, two, three, four, and the one. One, two, three, four, and the one. Just make sure that's kind of cool, uh, firm with the hammer-ons. And those notes, once we reach tempo, it's really just that fluent movement between uh, the two notes. Uh, moving on to measure one. Measure one, what we really want to do through the tune is make sure our right hand is efficient. So making sure that we're following our picking direction with the rhythm. That's a really important thing with these fiddle tunes. So for example, down stroke on the quarter note, down and up on the eighths. When we have a hammer on or a pull off or a slur of some sort, of course, we take that into account. But otherwise, down on the quarter note, down up on the eighth notes. So that first measure, down, down, up, down, down, up. Into our measure two there. Uh, that hammer on, we're in sort of two positions here. We need to cover the C note in the end of the measure, uh, the F sharp in the first half of the measure. Personally, I play that in second position, so I'm at my third finger there for the fourth fret. <laughs> then hammer on and switch position by the end of the measure. Uh, you don't really want to be using your little finger. These faster tempos, it's probably a better, better to ignore that and use your third finger there. As we move on though, we're still in this first position, so this open position in measure two. So there's a fair bit of movement across the strings, which can be awkward for the right hand. So measure two, first string down and up, second string down and up third string to second string down and up. So just keep an eye on that right hand, yeah? Uh, in measure three, we have this awkward moment where we're gonna skip a string. Once we hit string four, it's pretty straightforward, but second string, fourth string, hammer on, down and up. So down, up, down, up, down, down, up. That's one worth working on up to the fourth string. Yeah, following our rhythm, that's really important. Uh, measure four. And we're playing both of these third and fourth measures in that second position, yeah? So we don't need the C note in these measures. So from the beginning, pick up note. One, two, three, four, one. First position, 
back to second position. So left hand, second position, first position, second position, yeah? That's basically referring to where our first finger begins. Uh, as we move on through the tune, measure five, measure six, they're identical to the beginning. And just to close it out, measure eight. With our pickup on beat four, just like the pickup at the beginning of the tune. So pretty straightforward, eight measures, we repeat this, then we move on to part B. The challenge is that it's going to be played at a fast tempo. These fiddle tunes often are. So what you really need to make sure of is that your technique is solid. So the moments we've just sort of featured here as we've played through this, mainly for the right hand, picking directions, moving over those strings and whatnot, plus the positioning of your fingers just to keep it easy as you move through the tune. They're the things you really need to focus on. If you're okay with that, then it's just a matter of getting the tune under your fingers and getting that tempo up. So start slow, get to know it, then build the tempo. Uh, at pickandlessons.com, we've got a backing track and a play along track that you can use to uh, put in a slow down or, and help guide you through your, your tempo increase with your practice as well. So pickandlessons.com in the member section there, we'll break down part B of this tune. We'll have a look at the melody there. Uh, you've got your play along backing tracks and the tablature, of course. So pickandlessons.com, I'll see you there.